Okay, so for this first part then, we've got the graph of y equals f of x with its minimum point here, a at 3 minus 4, crossing the y-axis at 5. And we've got to find out then where a moves to, where it transforms to under these particular transformations. And if you're not sure about this and you want to just catch up with transformations of graphs, just go on my website, look under transformations of graphs in the index or your respective module. Okay, well let's start with this first one, y equals the mod of f of x. We should know that when you have a mod round a function that it takes the original graph and any part of it that is below the x-axis gets mirrored in the x-axis. So in other words, this part of the graph would get mirrored in the x-axis and what you would get would be a graph like this, okay? Coming down here, then we have this hump here and then we follow the graph back up. So y equals the mod of f of x. So this point A here is clearly going to be up here when it gets mirrored and what's its coordinates going to be? Well it's going to be same x value, 3, and then the y value, minus 4, becomes plus 4. So if I was answering this, I'd most probably say that A gets mapped on to, say, the point 3, 4. All right? Now when it comes on to part 2, it's a bit more complex. We've got two transformations going on. First of all, I'd want to consider the graph of f of a half x. And we should know that this stretches the original graph of y equals f of x, the red graph here, by a scale factor of 2 parallel to the x-axis, where any points on the y-axis stay invariant. So you're going to get a graph that's going to look something like this. Points like this are pulled out to the left by a factor of 2. The 5 stays invariant. This point gets shifted to the right by a factor of 2. And so on. And this is the point that's of interest at the moment. This point here is going to be stretched by a scale factor of 2 to the right. So its coordinates at the moment are going to be, instead of 3 across, 6 across, but the same y value is going to be kept. So 6 minus 4. Now when we have a 2 now, 2 f of a half x, this 2 stretches the green graph of f equals a half x by a scale factor of 2 parallel to the y-axis and points where it's on the x-axis stay invariant. So what I would expect to see is something like this. The graph then of y equals 2 f of a half x. These points stay invariant. This point at 5 has now shifted up to 10. Okay, this would be 10 on here. But this point is pulled downwards by a factor of 2. So the x coordinate is going to stay exactly the same at 6, but instead of it being at minus 4 below the x axis, it's now been doubled to minus 8. So let's just write that in, that a is transformed then to 6 minus 8. Okay, 